hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our code igniter 4.0.4 series so now guys in this video we are continuing now about the blade and the adding of css and js files into code igniter so guys let's get started with it so now as you see over here the front end page is this right so i want to remove all this and create a custom heading custom navbar and the following things by using bootstrap 5 okay so guys let's get started with it so first step let's go to app views and inside this you can see welcome message.php so let's just remove everything from it and just leave it empty and now guys we have to set the html things so let us set up with that html where 5 okay and over here you are going to tell code igniter 4 and now we will set up the files first so now guys here you will give your css links so just type link or else you can copy from your bootstrap 4 so now let's go to bootstrap and click on documentation so the latest version is 5.0 so let's get to introduction and below introduction you can see a starter template over here as you can see this so we need only few things that is the link of it so you can copy from here or else you can copy from here only so let's click on it and include over here that's it so if you require you can keep this or else just remove this link save and now the, about the js file so let us copy the js file also okay let us see over here you can see the bootstrap bundle dot min dot js file right and there is one more separate thing that is about bootstrap and popper so both things are there so let's take this or take this any one you can choose because both the things are mentioned so let's copy the copy this and paste and now guys we need a main jquery file to execute this two thing so let's google it called jquery 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 cdn link and first you can see here code.jquery.com over here you will get this so let's click on this first link and copy the code of it so let's click on copy and paste above this so first link it will be done if you required you can keep or else just remove okay so now we have copied that thing so just for one thing i will just create one nap or simple number before creating let's go and check the output let's refresh you can see a blank page so guys we'll search a navbar over here let's search navbar let's click on it and yep so here is the navbar so let us copy this and paste over here so before pasting that we will create one thing okay so that structure we have to follow first so before that creating we will paste it and check that so now let us check the output okay so our na uh, bootstrap is working fine and js also is working fine because this is getting toggled so guys done and now guys we will start importing this into our css so let me just minimize this and let's include this into our boot directory so now let's copy this link and go over here and paste and copy the css so let's create this bootstrap min.css file let's copy that inside our public directory let's create one folder called assets inside asset folder i want to create one new folder called css and inside assets folder again we will create one more called folder as js so inside this css you are going to paste the bootstrap main.css file and now inside this file you are going to copy and paste so let's copy this and paste over here done and close this file 
so now you have to link this file this file which you have created it so let's link that file so let's copy that and yep guys so php open is equal to where php close and you can call that base underscore url function over here and then you can call the path so base url means it will start from here okay as you have set so guys let's get back and now we are going to call it so where it is actually it's it inside the assets folder so let's call it assets forward slash css and forward slash your bootstrap main dot css file over here you can see so let's save this and now let's execute the file let's see what gives the thing output over here let's load cool so it's working fine your css also is loading let's give control shift r for catch a refresh okay everything is set up so guys now let us copy this script js files and same way we have to include it okay so let me just give this and let's copy this file name and get back let's go to our public over here inside js file we are going to create new file with the name jquery 3.5.1.js so here is the file empty and now let's control a and copy the code so let's copy and get back and paste control v and close this file done so once closed and let us call this file so let me just call this file need to call in this format php open php close where you will call base underscore url underscore url semicolon and inside this assets folder forward slash js folder forward slash your file name same way with this also you have to do so let's copy this and paste google it and space let's copy the file name and create the file name inside js folder so let's create that poppermin.js and now guys you have to copy and paste it so let's control a copy and paste paste it now and let us close this file okay click to close and then let's link this also over here so which will be like same thing so let's just copy this and replace the name with this inside js folder you are going to call this popper and same for the bootstrap done so let's remove this and this is the bootstrap main.js where you will assign this file copy and paste and let's create the same file with the name inside js folder let's create a new file called bootstrap main.css i mean js and then let's copy the url for it control x and get back and paste the code over here so let's control a and copy this and let's get back and paste in the file let's paste here save it and close the file done so once closed you can import this and remove the css so guys this is how we link the css and js file in code igniter 4 in the root directory by calling the base url if you are getting any error called base url please register that in your config folder called auto loads okay so just now let us continue with uh, extending with the view things so what are view extend layouts nothing but i'll just give you one demo okay so let's go to our app inside app views where inside this views i am going to create one folder called layouts l a y o u t s dot no no just give layouts so inside this layout we are going to create one file called hmm, called frontend dot php done and this frontend.php things will be included 
all these things okay oops so let me just cancel okay so these things will be added inside this so let's cut control x and paste inside this front end and now we will copy this body and script tag cut and paste over here done so now guys we are learning about view extend so let us just tell you i'll explain you very clearly in this so now we have to extend this front end folder into this layouts welcome.php okay so guys how will you extend this so you have a layout into your browser i mean coding nitro documentation where building response you can see a layouts thing over here view layouts so let me just click on it and over here we will see about extend so let me just search for extend okay so this is how you see over here okay so let's copy this control c and control c and paste over here inside this so before pasting this you have to search that from where it is coming so i'll just show you on demo okay so let's cut this and paste below this html and over here content and over here your front end thing will be included so let's call layouts where forward slash your front end dot php file okay so inside your views directly you have to call your layouts and front end dot php file will be included and then you are including this okay so let me just show one demo with this so now how will you include this how it's calling this file so that also we have to give something over here so let me just show you how will you assign this section called content so this content how will you extend into it so now let us go back to our documentation as we copied this right just now to check with that so now guys we will just move little top you can see creating a layout so we have created a layout but to render that section content we have to copy this code so let's get back and over here let's type div app so inside this you are going to tell this okay and now this render section is nothing but content so let's copy this and then call this over here content that's it now let us check with that and load the page so let us get back and let's refresh this over here cool so everything is working fine so you can see that without any coding of calling any functions like including all the things again and again it's working very nice so this is called view layouts in coding nighter 4 so guys i will tell you one more thing about the including of navbar so let's create one inc folder inside this so let's create inside layout folder i am going to create inc which means include folder so now let's create into it one navbar dot php file done and now inside this you will be calling your navbar design so let's call this let's cut this design and paste into your navbar file done and now guys we are going to call this file directly into your welcome page or else front end page how will you call it so you, there are many methods to call this so as you can see before the section you want to call you can call in this format as you can see in the documentation you can see a include function okay so i'll just show you one include one also okay so as you see over here include sidebar so you can just copy this and then paste over here let's just try with this if it doesn't work over here we will paste in layouts i mean welcome message.php so let us just create with this navbar so let's call layouts folder inside layouts i am going to inc folder inside inc navbar in a v b a r navbar.php file very clear and now we will reload the page so let us reload this you can see there is no error and perfectly it's loading 
so guys we have learned about how to connect with the layouts view layouts and the css and js files and including the bootstrap into this code igniter 4 so guys let's continue in next video about how to set up the environment file and start with the database and models so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share